Good morning. Have you ever had that moment in your life where you just needed to sit down and pray to God to show you mercy? God, just help me. Just help me get through this. I can't handle this alone. I need you now. Well, that's exactly what's happened today in our scripture. We're going to go to Psalms chapter 86 and I'm going to read the whole psalm to you and what this is this is David David and he's pleading with God for mercy so here we go Psalms 86 this is a prayer of David listen Lord and answer me for I am poor and needy protect my life for I am faithful you are my God save your servant who trusts in you be gracious to me Lord for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to your servant's life, because I appeal to you, Lord. For you, Lord, are kind and ready to forgive, abounding in faithful love to all who call on you. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my plea for mercy. I call on you in the day of my distress, for you will answer me. Lord, there is no one like you among the gods, and there are no works like yours. All the nations you have made will come and bow down before you, Lord, and will honor your name, for you are great and perform wonders. You alone are God. Teach me your way, Lord, and I will live by your truth. Give me an undivided mind to fear your name. I will praise you with all my heart, Lord my God, and will honor your name forever. For your faithful love for me is great, and you rescue my life from the depths of, depths of Sheol. God, arrogant people have attacked me. A gang of ruthless men intends to kill me. They do not let you guide them. But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger and abounding in faithful love and truth. Turn to me and be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant. Save the son of your female servant. Show me a sign of your goodness. My enemies will see and be put to shame because you, Lord, have helped and comforted me. Amen. Now, I read this today out of the Christian Standard Bible, the CSB. I went and read several versions. I read the New King James and I read the... Um, um, New Living Translation, but this one really spoke to me this morning. And I want to call your attention to verses 13 and 14 in particular. Um, verse 13 says this, For your faithful love for me is great, and you rescue my life from the depths of Sheol. Now, what Sheol is, is it's essentially referring to a grave or the underworld or any any moment in time or a place where you are separated from God. Um, so basically he is saying, God, you have rescued me from death. You have rescued me from the grave. Um, please rescue me from this, from this time. Also, um, when they mention it figuratively, it usually means that they're faced with their imminent death. It means this person is about to die and they know it. They know they're about to die and they're just going to beg God to help them not to. And we go to verse 14. It says, God, arrogant people have attacked me. A gang of ruthless men intends to kill me. They do not let you guide them. So he knows that he is faced with imminent death. That is how desperate he is in this prayer. He is begging for God's mercy at this moment have you ever had that moment in your life where you needed God's mercy the truth is he shows it to us every single day receiving mercy is probably one of the best experiences in the world when you're faced with a terrible situation and God comes to your rescue that's a great great experience but God not only shows you mercy by forgiving your sins when you became a Christian though he continues to forgive you and shows you mercy every single day 365 days a year only God could be that patient and merciful right
Do you know anybody else that's forgiven you for every single thing that you have ever done? Forever? Ever? I don't know anybody that has. Um, receive his mercy with a grateful heart today and commit yourself to extending the same kind of mercy to others. I'm going to leave you with a question. And that question is, is there someone who might need to receive mercy today instead of judgment in your life? I hope that God shows mercy to you today. And I hope that you are merciful to others as well. Blessings to you. If this has touched you in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to share it. Hit that subscribe button and give it a big thumbs up. And I hope to see you tomorrow. God bless you.